Hello and welcome to the session on Drush and Drush Make here at Drupal Camp LA. I'm Chris Charlton. My co-presenter is John Romine. Today we're going to show you and introduce Drush and one of its very popular plugins called Drush Make. So what is Drush? Well, Drush is technically just a piece of software. Uh, it's run in essentially a terminal or command line, and it's a shell interface for Drupal. Normally, Drupal is a bunch of pages that load, especially for the administration area, and Drush allows you to essentially kind of come through what is not a backdoor, but an alternate, uh, you know, valid way to come in, uh, talk to your Drupal site, administer, modify, and do a lot of cool things that you would normally have to do with a lot of clicks, a lot of pages, and a lot of time, and Drush kind of helps reduce or eliminate most, if not all of that. So the link you see here on this slide is the direct link to the Drush project page. And Drush is not a module that you install on your Drupal site. Again, Drush is software, so you can install it on your workstation, and you can install it on essentially every web server that you have Drupal running on. What does Drush really let us do? It well, essentially helps us cut down the time, uh, and in fact, even the number of steps when you're dealing with a Drupal site. So this is uh, a lot of different tasks, and I have a slide here that shows how Drush is actually much more competitive in terms of being able to do things faster than Drupal it is natively. So one of the first things we do is, uh, with Drush, I can signal Drush to download a fresh copy of Drupal. And normally, if I had to open my web browser, go to drupal.org, type in the address, uh, look for the download link, click download, unzip it, you know, uh, get it to where I want to. That can usually take some time. Now, albeit not a lot amount of time, but still, if you, you see here in my chart, it took almost the full 60 seconds for me to do it manually. You see in the green bar at the top. Uh, but the drush time, which is in blue, you see that it took me less than 10 seconds to use drush to download Drupal for me. And again, that was through a simple command line uh, option. The next line that we have graphed here is uh, me actually downloading and adding one single module. Now, see the module took a little longer than Drupal. Why is that? Well, I had to search for the module, first of all. Not every module is actually available on the home page, but the download Drupal link is. So that's why it took more time. So I had to find the project page or just find it with the search results in Drupal.org and then download that module and just like Drupal itself, add it, unzip it, all that stuff. Well, if you combine these two tasks, the Drupal downloading and the downloading of and adding of one module, um, then that together is already over two minutes, uh, getting close to about almost even two and a half minutes. But let's just say two minutes. Let's give it uh, the benefit of doubt that you have fast internet and you click around pretty fast too. So uh, it's still about a two minute process. Now note, this second and th uh, third line does not actually go into the timing of enabling the module or configuring it, nor does the download Drupal time up there go into the installation of Drupal. That would be much more time. And Drush actually has a command to do that in only a few seconds when normally it would take us about a minute or so, a couple minutes even. Well, the downloading of one module in the addition of the Drupal, mod, uh, downloading Drupal itself, excuse me, uh, those together using Drush still took me maybe only a total of about 10 or 15 seconds. And as we see moving up, adding even just the top 10 modules, I've now added an additional minute the manual way, um, if not longer. But through Drush, it really was about a 30 second process. And most of that time was actually Drush doing the downloading itself. Um, maybe me even just typing in the names. But I'll tell you, it, w it wasn't a lot of work, uh, very easy. Uh, enabling those modules uh, took me over a minute in my Drupal. That means clicking all the checkboxes, you know, actually after visiting the modules administration page, uh, and then clicking submit and waiting for that page to finish, uh, and Drupal to notify me that uh, those modules have been enabled. Uh, through Drush, I was able to do that uh, within 30 seconds. Uh, that is, actually type Drush, enable, and then each module name that I wanted to um, enable. 
Clear in the site cache if you're a developer or especially a designer themer. Um, clearing the cache is something you're doing basically for every refresh or right before every refresh of the page. So it's a common task and if you have another tab or another window open with the um, clear cache button uh, in the standard Drupal administration, that page could easily take, and this is off a very simple site, uh, could take 30, you know, it's almost 45 seconds to load. So that's half of a minute of your time that you're waiting. Uh, with Drush, it does it in essentially just a few seconds. So I've already um, decreased the amount of time by a factor of 10, um, you know, um, divided the time into 10, and I've recouped that time to you. So now, if you had been refreshing a page about, you know, uh, 60 times in one day, uh, or multiple pages, uh, you essentially almost lo uh, lost um, a half hour in the day of just clearing the cache. And I can bring that down to losing only about, I guess what uh, my basic estimate would be three minutes of the day, okay? Um, getting a list of over a uh, uh, site, I'm sorry, getting a list of all the modules in a website, in a Drupal site, that has over a hundred modules, which is not uncommon today, uh, that would actually take about, you know, 12 seconds or so through um, uh, Drupal loading its modules page, which isn't, I mean, if you're used to Drupal administration pages like the modules page, taking you know a couple seconds, and you're probably not going to notice that time. But through Drush, I actually almost get an immediate response back um, about the list of the um, of all the modules on a site that have more than 100. So you see that all these times uh, that you have here are, I mean, they're dramatically short. So it's actually really good. And Drush saves you so much time that you will start to wonder, kind of, how did you ever get through Drupal without it? But the reality is, a lot of us are still, you know, trying to get caught up in learning the parts of Drupal that we're interested in, uh, or for a job we have work, you know, in the middle of that. So taking on a, a, another tool like Drush, when you hear so much about it, and it sounds like it's like a ninja tool, uh, the Swiss Army knife of you know awesome you know gurus and ninjas, it, it might be a little bit. Um, kind of uh, intimidating, I guess, uh, would be the best word. And the reality is uh, these sessions today here are out to show you that it's not hard and you should be doing this stuff already anyway. So just learn how to use it once and you'll use it forever. Okay, so uh, here's a quick rundown. Uh, this is what Dr uh, Drupal looks like. This is the interface for Drupal. This is where we normally go to configure things. Click, 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 links, 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 uh, radio buttons, long forms, click submit, save, Refresh, okay? The interface for Drush, for those not, uh, not familiar with terminals, uh, command lines, shells, um, this is the interface for Drush. So uh, you can definitely see with this blank kind of canvas and this uh, blinking cursor prompt there, uh, for somebody who doesn't use a terminal really in their daily work, uh, this could be not necessarily intimidating, but look like a giant black void. And uh, that is actually scarier than just, you know, the fear of trying to learn a new tool and get your work done at the same time. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually show you a few demos of Drush. And in those demos, we're going to get you familiar and comfortable with Drush itself, a couple of the most basic commands to get you started. And, of course, uh, walk you through the basic steps. But the first one um, for everybody uh, that we can't really actually demo because it would take too long uh, for each of the popular platforms, uh, Linux, Mac, and Windows, is in how to install Drush. So we don't have time to do that here, but we need you to just in read the readme.txt file, uh, and I think there might even be an installation document now uh, separately for Drush, but just read the documentation that comes into the Drush, so you can download Drush, unzip it, uh, go through the readme, and get exact steps of how to install Drush. So Drush is basically drag and drop no matter what platform you're on. But you should do some configurations to your computer for your platform to get Drush to be the most effective tool while it's on your system, which means um, instead of uh, having to use Drush only from one folder or you know copying uh, Drush somewhere else, uh, you want to set up some global configurations that will allow you to use Drush anywhere on your system. So it's very simple. It's a few steps. Go through the README and you'll be done. Uh, the demos we are going to be able to have for you today, besides uh, John showing you Drush Make uh, later, is we'll actually show how to uh, essentially get a list of Drush commands using Drush, of course, in the terminal, but how to update an old Drupal site 
and of course update all the modules in one command. And also then we'll jump into how to download multiple modules or even just one module using Drush. So uh, you saw in the previous uh, one of the previous slides uh, how much time you're going to save. So uh, you know even if you spend you know uh, a half hour watching these demos, uh, learning Drush, it's going to be one of the best half hours you've ever spent um, while working with Drupal. So uh, I'll have John actually be able to take over in part two of this uh, session. He'll be doing the actual demos uh, on his laptop. So you'll see Drush being used to update a Drupal site and its modules. And then next you'll see Drush actually downloading and enabling modules uh, from you know Drupal.org without ever opening a web browser. And then, of course, we'll uh, finish off with the Drush Make information and demo.